What's going on y'all? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. Two videos, two days in a row. Hey yo, gaming news might be back, bro. Let's not get too excited though, because it, you know, it could get dry again. And I told y'all, I would take any gaming news, good or bad at this point, because we were desperate for anything to talk about. And I would definitely take anything to talk about over the bullshit and lame gaming discourse and conversations that was happening just a week ago. So this news isn't like the worst of the worst. It's not like the worst thing that could possibly happen. But given the fan base that's affected, who are very particular about things, and I've always told you all that, PC gamers, this is going to have some negative repercussions. So just a few hours ago, the official Helldivers 2 uh, Twitter account announced that Helldivers 2 will soon require all Steam players to sign in with a PlayStation Network account. And this was a requirement that was... Um, that was removed from launch because of all the technical issues that Helldivers 2 initially had. Now, I'm going to read this because I was reading this prior to making this video, and the way they're rolling this out with, with the dates is maybe I'm having trouble processing it, but it's fucking confusing in my opinion. So here's, here's what this says, and I'm skipping down like to the third paragraph as far as like the dates and when things will be implemented. So it says, as of May 6, all new Helldiver, Helldivers 2 players on Steam will be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation account. Okay, that's number one. Current players on Steam will start to see a mandatory login from May 30th. Okay, that's the second date. And we'll have to require... And will, and will be required to have linked a Steam and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. So there's three days. There's May 6th, May 30th, and then June 4th. And I'm trying to like process like what the fuck is happening on each date. Okay, let's read. May 6th, all new Helldivers 2 players. So, okay, by May 6th, all new Helldivers 2 players, people who have not played Helldivers 2, uh, on Steam will be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. Okay, cool. Current players on Steam will start to see a mandatory login from May 30th. Okay. Okay, so new players will have to connect sooner than current players, if I'm understanding. Current players are getting a little bit more time till the end of May. And, it, and it, then it says, and will be required to have linked a Steam and PlayStation and network account by June 4th. Yeah, that, that's the part that's confusing me. So the mandatory login is May 30th. And then we'll, they will have to, they're, they're, then there's going to be a requirement to have a linked Steam and PlayStation account by June 4th. So, okay, so you don't have to, so you have to log in by May 30th, but you don't have to link your Steam and PlayStation network account by June 4th, I guess is what they're saying. The point is, you see how, like, this is much more simpler than, than it reads. PC gamers are going to hate this fucking shit. I'm telling you right now. I, th I think it, it was when, I remember the conversation we were having around Xbox. Um, and it was about Game Pass. And just talking about if Xbox is going to, if they are going to depend on PC gamers to bolster and support Game Pass, that's not going to work. Because PC gamers are very particular about shit. They do not want to do anything but turn on Steam, click on a game, and play. So if that means they have to use another launcher, if that means they have to log in to somebody's uh, goddamn account, um, 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 account, even if it's through Steam, they don't want to do none of that shit. Bro, you got to understand, PC gamers, they feel they are looking for anything to be activist about. It doesn't matter a lot of times if it's a game they absolutely fucking love. They are willing to literally <laughs> like sacrifice everything they love for these arbitrary principles that they stand for on PC. 
If it means, bro, I'm, they, do, they don't care. They don't want to do none of that stuff because they believe in like the freedom and the liberty of PC and, and PC has, cer has certain pillars that they do not compromise on. Now, granted, like I said, in the grand scheme of things, this is not a big deal, right? It's, it's, it's logging into something. But once again, PC gamers don't even want to log into another browser. They don't even want to do that. They don't want to do anything outside the norm that requires an extra step. So this is not a big, and I understand PlayStation for, po this, so this is something they had to do also for posterity, moving forward with like other games that are going to be on PC, right? This is going to happen eventually, but I think it would have been a better idea maybe to start this with a newer future game. Because introducing it right in the middle where people are absolutely loving this game and it's a massive success, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to go as far as saying it's going to kill the game, but it's going to hurt it. Some people won't care, but like I said, a lot of PC dudes are looking to be activists. A lot of them are looking to protest any and everything and get their pitchforks out at any given moment for any given reason. They live for this shit, bro. I'm like, bro, when I read this news, I'm like, PlayStation, have you met PC gamers before? Have you met these motherfuckers? Have you met them? These dudes, like I said, these dudes will, will, are ready to get their pitchforks for any reason. They are ready to pirate a game at the littlest, at the most minor inconvenience. They're like, oh, well, I'm ready to pirate this game. They're, they're, they are willing to do that. Either not play a game, pirate it, do, protest it, boycott it for any given reason. So it's like, I, 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 I kind of get it. Okay, like if you're going to do this with a game, maybe it's, it's got to be your break, break away, run away success game, Helldivers 2. I can kind of understand that. But bro, this is, I just don't think this is a, a good idea. Because even me, right, who I don't, I don't complain about a lot of shit. I, I really don't, right? When it comes to things like this. Because it genuinely doesn't bother me, and I believe you have to pick your battles with what you get upset about. Some people like, oh no, I'm, they, they, you know, they they want to get upset about every single thing in the world. You know, to me, this is not a big deal. But at the same time, even with me, who has high tolerance for shit, for shit, I hate when games when I turn on a game and it asks me to sign in to anything. I hate it, bro. Ubisoft, EA doesn't matter. I hate when it asks me to sign in. If, if it's, I'm talking about like outside of their actual launcher, right? If I, if like, if I wanted to play Battlefield and, and, and I launch it on Steam and it asks me to sign into my EA account, oh my God, I hate it. I hate it. I think it's annoying. It literally takes 10 seconds to do, but even I freaking hate it, bro. I'm be real with you. I hate it. It's it's it's. I don't know what it is. It's such a freaking annoyance. Lo log in, no nigga. I already bought the game. I launched the. I, I launched the game. I, I shouldn't have to sign into anything. If I'm already signed into Steam. So that's me. So if I feel that way, bro, I'm telling you these these PC dudes. Yeah, this is this is not gonna this is not gonna go over well. I, I believe. Um. So just to read more, it says account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the value of safety and security provided by PlayStation and PlayStation Studios. This is our main way to protect gamers um, from griefing and abuse by enabling um, banning of players that engage in, in this type of behavior. It also allows uh, players that have been banned the right to appeal. Uh, so that's the reason why they're claiming that they are that they are doing it. Um, which may be part of it. I'm not denying that. Is that the main reason? I don't think so. Um, it, it could be, you know, just to bolster their numbers, you know, their, uh, their engagement numbers and their monthly active users, because yes, you, there is the argument that play, this is a first, well, not first party, second party PlayStation game. They, they, they own it, right? It's just made by a studio that they don't own right now. So they have the right and the entitlement to do whatever they want with their, their game, but that's going to have some consequences too. You got you to gotta know your audience, bro. You, 
you got to know your audience. This is this is like it's it, it's very important to know your audience when it comes to various um, engagements in, in life. One th- you can get away with one thing with one audience. You don't want to try that with another. And there's very particular guidelines that even though like a lot of these very purist PC gamers, I, you know, they're obnoxious and fucking annoying because they complain about everything, right? But you also, you, I ain't gonna lie to you, sometimes you have to compromise with them. You gotta bend the knee with them, right? Because like, like Jack has coined the phrase PC terrorists. These dudes, you gotta negotiate with them. The phrase, we don't negotiate with terrorists, I'm going to be real with you. PC gamers, you got to negotiate with them. You got to. You, you got no choice, bro. Because this is, not, this is not your platform and the ecosystem you own. Like, PC gamers, they think they're like freedom fighters. I'm telling you, these, du- <laughs> these dudes have like found a cause and they are willing to die for it. And it's PC gaming. And it's very, I, I think they, they have the, like this higher sense of like, I don't know, just responsibility and entitlement when it's just gaming, but they've like latched onto it. And, and that type of type of ideology spreads throughout the whole PC camp. They spread it and they indoctrinate others into it, too. This is how this is how they roll, bro. This is how they roll. So. Hey, listen, Sony doesn't compromise on much and they don't. um they don't renege on a lot of the choices they make. But I think if they see drastic player numbers, um, a drastic drop of player numbers on, on PC and Steam, I think, I, I think this is one of the things, one of the decisions they could overturn. Um, Helldivers has a, has, a, has a huge grasp on uh, the PC audience. But... Don't think for a second that they won't turn on this game. I've seen PC gamers turn on. We see them. They're fickle. That's another thing. They're fickle. They could absolutely love something one second. It could be their favorite thing in the world, their favorite toy in the world, and then fucking be like the Toy Story meme and be like, I don't want to play with you no more. The Literally the next, the next second. That's how they are. So I don't think it's a good idea, but we're going to see what happens. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know how y'all think this is going to turn out. And uh, yeah, let me know, let me know y'all thoughts. Follow me on Twitter. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. And I will catch y'all on the next video. All right. I'm out of here. Peace.